Hey, look, the disruptor spawned. No thanks. Wrong. Okay, fine, I'll pick it up then. Wrong again. What do you mean, wrong? I didn't pick it up. That was wrong. Then I picked it up. Why is that one? What do you want me to do? Switch to my primary weapon? That is correct. Hey. Where's the camera? God damn it. Just roll the gameplay. See, the disruptor is perfect for almost any situation. So let's first look at a few good examples on how to use it. Let's say you just got a guy one shot. Just shoot the nearest weapon rack. Or, perhaps they just picked up Overshield. Not a problem. The Disruptor will take it down in one clip. Well then, why was holding it as the primary weapon the wrong way? Well, it's actually not holding it as the primary weapon that's the problem, but instead the mentality that you only need one weapon per kill. See, when I say the Disruptor is perfect for almost any situation, I truly mean almost. The only other time it's not perfect is when it's not supporting another weapon. Look, you can get kills with it right off spawn, by itself, as your primary weapon. And believe me, they're just as satisfying, but so is staying alive, winning games, and ranking up. And that's something I'd much rather do. So instead, I like to think of the Disruptor as an extra teammate, and no, not just a useless bot teammate, but one that has your back and will support you when you need it. For instance, if you're facing off against more than one player, the Disruptor is the perfect weapon for you. Why? Because this thing does chain damage. Not only does it break the shield on this first guy, but in the meantime, it's damaging his buddy behind him that I can't even see, which makes them an easy cleanup with the assault rifle in one clip. Look, I'm not saying you can't use it as a primary weapon, you obviously can, but you've gotta have a backup plan with this weapon. Oh, and uh, pro tip, the disruptor is automatic, so stop firing it like it's not. Just hold the trigger down, get three shots to do damage over time, and just let the disruptor do the rest. It's really not that hard. So remember, think twice about running past it, and if you ever got a guy one shot running away from you, hit them three times with the disruptor to do the damage over time. It's much better than chasing kills. But if you're a noob and into that kind of thing, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video up here.